Hey guys, Daryl Shergan here, Quest for Vape. I am here at Vape Pro Selden in Selden, New York. I'm in a really nice vape shop here. These are good friends of mine that run it. They're all very knowledgeable. They have a heart, they have a passion for vaping, and all they want is for folks that want to get into vaping um, to know what they're doing and to be safe. I'm sitting here with a nice gentleman I just met today called Tyree. Tyree, nice to meet you. I'm Daryl, I'm, I'm Quest for Vape. Tyree. I have a YouTube channel. A couple of people watch me, but um, now the reason I'm doing this video with Tyree here is because he just bought the IPV D2, and how do you like that? No, it's a great machine. Right. Flavor is just cool. way better. This is not a review on the IPV D2. This is a shame on you video. Clouper T8, festering fucking turd. I'll tell you why I feel that way. I don't own any Clouper devices. Um, I haven't got around to him yet, but the reason why I'm calling this a festering turd is because Tyree purchased, he walked in here wanting nickel coils for his Arctic tank. That's all. And if Ari, Chef Ari, hadn't asked him what kind of tank are you, you know, what kind of mod do you have, what's up, what are you using it on, this is what he had. 150 watt box mod that claims some kind of t CPU temperature regulation, and he was sold this, not here, but at another shop. Wait, wait, don't mention any names, but was it like a traditional vaping shop? Well, I mean, they carry a lot of mods and a lot of different tanks and stuff. I'm not sure if it's a traditional shop. Like they have a lot of other stuff? Oh, yeah, of course. Too, like Liquid, everything. Okay, okay. Listen, they just didn't know. They thought, I'm not trying to disparage another shop, and actually we want to educate them too, because they thought, they read the packaging, they thought this was a temperature control mod. It's not. It does not back down power. It does not have a temperature setting for the coil. What it does is it checks to see is this thing, is the whole thing getting too hot so it doesn't melt? And it'll shut down, like last year, a lot of mods, and, and a lot of mods still have this. If, if the internal temperature of the device gets too hot, then it'll shut down power so it doesn't like keep heating up and blow up. But that's not the same thing as temperature control. Temperature control as we know it for nickel is where you set that temperature that you don't want it to go above with a maximum of 600 degrees or whatever the device is set for. And as it approaches, I have another video on YouTube explaining this, as that temperature approaches, uh, it backs down power so that you don't exceed safe working temperatures on nickel. And unfortunately, this mod does not have anything like that. But the Arctic coils, the nickel coils are 0.2 resistance. You can vape those on any, pretty much any box mod. And this would have vaped them. He would have been sitting there 10 minutes from now, vaping on nickel coils in his Arctic tank, not in temperature control. And what do you usually vape your Arctic at? Uh, probably about 70. 70 watts. It gets hot. It, get, it probably goes above 600 degrees. The, the point is you don't know in this thing, it's not claiming it's temperature control. It's not not claiming. It's deceptive in its packaging. And Clopper, you should be ashamed of yourself because this happens innocently enough. The vape shop didn't know. The customer didn't know. Do you want somebody out there using your mod vaping on nickel out of temperature control and regular wattage mode? Is that what you really want for your products? Because that's what's happening. And, um, you know, fortunately, he got into a conversation and was able to avoid that now. Now he's vaping on an IPV D2, which is a 75 watt. Look at that little cutie. How do you like that? Love it. Love it. Love it. And this is his first time vaping nickel ever. He's at 40 watts on there, which doesn't mean it's. It's doing 40 watts, just means it's using that power level to get to the desired temperature to be. Okay, that's what I'm, everything I'm about is safety. If you got a vape in nickel, do it on a proper temperature control device. That is a proper temperature control device. That is a company that stands behind their technology. They have a chip that reads the resistance of the metal, that changes, that it knows when it's approaching that temperature. All right, I, I'm long-winded, I know. I'm, I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> oh, no problem. Thanks for putting up with my bullshit. But, you know, like, this is real. This shit happens every day. And, um, and we don't want to see it keep happening. As our industry continues to evolve, uh, education is so important. A lack of knowledge can be very dangerous in, in vaping. So that's it, Quest for Vape. Any kind of words for my audience of three people? <laughs> <laughs> no, it just, it just needs to be known, you know. Cool. Lack what, of information is What juice are you vaping on, man? This is Smurf. Smurf. Yep. From Vape again. Yep, correct. All right, thanks, Tyree. No problem. Guys, 
I don't go trashing um, mods or equipment or manufacturers or shops or anybody unless there's a damn good reason for me to do that. Today, I do have a damn good reason for that. And, and I'm, I'm not chasing the shock value of this thing. I'm talking about a real situation where this guy could have been in, uh, in harm. Um, and here's why. Okay, so after the conversation came up, and the reason this whole thing came up is because this shop doesn't sell the Clapper T8. So I had my laptop open. I'm editing some stuff over here. And I was just like, let me look it up. I don't know. I'm not familiar. I, I have not reviewed that. I have never had a Clauper product, but they sell. They're out there. Okay, so I looked up the Clauper T8 because we wanted to ask one simple question and get one simple answer. Is this temperature control? Is this safe to vape on for nickel? And here's what I discovered about this Clauper T8. All right. Having no experience with this, but unfortunately, the customer had no experience with it either, and the vape shop that sold it to him, which is not this vape shop, had no experience with it either. So it took us looking at this thing online. The specs, the Clauper T8 specs are dimension, weight, adjustable wattage, 7 to 150 watts, magnetic black cover, that's nice, automatic heat regulation system. Okay, then it talks about having... A uh, device will shut off automatically when excessive heat is detected. Okay, this is misleading. You're talking about heat regulation system? All right. I know what they're talking about now that I've read this thing, but the, the average vapor, the average customer, the inexperienced vapor who wants a deal for 80 or 90 bucks and picks up that clouper, T8, is not going to know that that's not temperature control. Okay, so... Perhaps the most exciting of these innovations, I guess, is the CPU-controlled heat monitoring system, which works with the ventilation holes located at multiple points around the unit to keep the unit as at a safe operating temperature. That has nothing to do with temperature control. That is keeping this thing from melting. That is keeping... Okay, you, you get the point. But it's misleading, and people are taking that, and listen, if it happened once, it's happening a lot of times. If it's happening a lot of times, it's a problem. That language has to be corrected. I understand you have an innovative feature on your thing that's going to monitor the overall temperature of the mod and make sure that this thing doesn't overheat and maybe melt some circuitry and damage the device. Um, but that's an entirely different matter than temperature control. And since the industry buzz, the industry jargon Temperature control means this is what it means now. This is what, it's not me saying it. This is what people think. They want temperature control so they can vape their nickel and their titanium and, and do it in, in a way that they believe is, is not harmful, okay? Previous models had experienced some isolated issues with overheating, and so it was great to see Clauper go so far out of their way to come up with a solution uh, to what could be a dangerous issue. Okay, yeah, mods blowing up is uh, a problem. And, and not one that Clauper is unfamiliar with either. Now, I'm not trying to disparage a company. I, I, all I want them to do is get somebody to, to get some experienced vapors that, that grammatically correct and represent this thing right. If you have a feature on this, it's not temperature control. You, you, you phrase it a different way. I'm not here to, t to tell you what that phrasing should be, but I am here to tell you what it should not be. It should not be any way uh, indicating that this thing is temperature control, as in go ahead and vape that nickel um, on this thing because it's safe, because it's not. And it even has a thing on there that says, like, 36 degrees Celsius. Like, so the guy was like, no, it's temperature control. Look, this is 36 degrees Celsius temperature. So, it, great, that's reading the temperature in here, like inside the internal unit. It's misleading, and it's a problem, and that's why I'm doing a video. Thank you for listening to me rant.